A local woman went viral on TikTok talking about her journey having her breast implants removed. Melissa Lima believes that she was suffering from what's known as breast implant illness and saw symptoms that were affecting her everyday life. ABC 13's Micah Hadfield spoke to her about her journey new at 10. Breast implants are typically done for cosmetic purposes and can really change the look of someone's physique. When Melissa Lima was confronted with having hers taken out and changing her figure, she said she was so sick she just didn't care what she looked like after, if it meant that she would feel better. Today, Melissa Lima tells me she's grateful that she made that decision. It was the early 2000s and it was all about, you know, the Baywatch look and the big boobs and the small butt and the, you know, tiny waist or whatever. She was self-conscious of the size of her breasts, so in 2002, Melissa Lima, former wife of Astro's great Jose Lima, got breast implants. Three years later, she underwent surgery to swap them out for a smaller set. Living in Houston at the time, she went to reputable surgeons, but little did she know the toll the implants would take on her health years later. The end of 2019 is when I really, really, really got sick. The photos of Lima at the height of her illness are shocking. Her face became extremely swollen. Her feet couldn't even fit in shoes. She got rashes and cuts would turn into abscesses. Just the overall depression and anxiety and brain fog. Like I couldn't work. I couldn't think to work. Um, you know, I'd call in sick all the time. I was telling my boss like, I don't know what it is, but I can't even like concentrate or have any interest in like getting my schedule together. Doctor after doctor, test after test, Lima could not figure out what it was making her so sick. No significant like alarming, you know, this is what is going on. You need to take care of it. It wasn't until a friend of hers flagged a video of a social media influencer talking about breast implant illness that Lima snapped to the idea that she could be suffering from that too. This is a typical example. She ended up getting in touch with Dr. Charles Polson, a plastic surgeon in League old. City, and he agreed to take them out. It's not an unusual surgery for him. In fact, he says over the last few years, he's done more explants than implants. Patients are coming to me with various symptoms that their doctors can't explain otherwise. Um, they're largely nondescript symptoms. They range from fatigue to joint pain to inflammation to hair loss, and they don't have any other explanation other than uh, they relate it to their implants. The National Library of Medicine reports that there are more than 4 million women across the globe with augmented breasts. And yet breast implant illness or BII is something that's still being studied. So there's not a lot of research on who gets it and why. It's not a formal medical diagnosis and there's no test to determine if someone has it. But the FDA says reports of BII have come from every size and variety of implant, with symptoms from some women beginning immediately after surgery, others reporting issues years later. We're putting in maybe 300,000 implants a year just in the U.S. alone. So even if just one to two percent of people are having a problem, that's a large number. These photos show Lima right after she woke up from her anesthesia in October of 2020. She says she immediately saw and felt a change. There's no puffiness under my eyes anymore. She's continued to take thyroid medication she was on prior to the surgery, but has gotten off of antidepressants and anxiety medication. Take a look at the implant Dr. Polson removed from her right breast. It turned black. It's not been tested to determine what's floating inside of it. Dr. Polson says that's rare. Lima just hopes that her journey may provide answers to another woman suffering without answers. You know, but I'd never want to discourage someone from doing something that they want to do just because it happened to me. Like there are women that this will never happen to. So I don't want to say breast implants are bad. They're just bad for me. Really great that she shared her story right yeah, there. Yeah, to see the implant itself. Yeah, unbelievable. Research to learn more about breast implant illness is ongoing. One of the efforts comes from a team at the Aesthetic Society. Yes, they are following patients from the time they get implants for more than 10 years collecting data.